Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today is Thursday and that means it's the day we talk about new releases from Pink Punch Studio. So, last week, let's, let's go first two weeks ago, two Fridays ago, we got these new headphone sets and they're amazing. Super shiny metallic and you can build a cell phone kind of currently playing mock-up with the overlays. That was Jewel Tone. We have Muted and we have Neon. So this is your overlay. You would build your spread and then place this on top and it adds that metallic look. That didn't work. <laughs> Undo. It went underneath. Let's go cut and paste. And so this would kind of add like a glare look on top of whatever you build as um, a phone would do. Alternatively, undo. All right. You could take one of these and put them on top of the black one and kind of build up. Either way works. You got both options because Rochelle is wonderful and takes such good care of us. So that came out in three new palettes this week, um, last week on Friday. Then brand new, we got these wire daisy clips. And these ones you can put on your desktop. These ones have a piece of the wire missing so you can actually make it look like it's clipped on your page and it has like a really cute effect. Come on. Why? Well, there we go. Okay. You can see here I put the April one and I clipped it on the top of the calendar and then I put the day ones not clipped here as my day covers. So these ones are gold. Rose gold are the ones I used in the spread I was just showing you. And silver. Then, if those weren't beautiful enough, we got a whole new palette for April. This is the Kiss Planner. So like all Kiss Planners, your front page has all your links. The rest of the pages have no link or have nothing. They're just plain, but they do have a link to the front page and a link to the last page. So you can maneuver throughout your month. This one is the Garden Blooms Square Kiss Planner. Let's close all this up. Okay. So we also got square dust pads in the Garden Blooms colorway and they come with white overlays. We got torn paper and we got click pens, my favorite pens. Love this colorway. Seriously, everything in this colorway is just so pretty. So let's make a quick spread. Um, I haven't done yes, uh, tomorrow's daily yet. So tomorrow is April 1st. So I'm going to click on April 1st and it will take me straight to that page. And it's this pretty blue tone today. Let's pick a desk pad. Hmm, something neutral. I'm not sure if I want the brown or the gray. Let's go with the gray. We'll build something on here. I think I'm gonna grab silver. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is April 1st, April Fool's Day. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. I want this one. Oh, I have an idea. Hmm. 
Oh, look, that is so cute. I love it. I think the green paper needs to be a bit bigger though. And I'm just lining up, if you can see, I'm lining up where the wire ends with the edge of my paper. Now I have some other wires from another shop. It doesn't match very well. Oh, it doesn't match at all. Never mind. I take it back. It doesn't match very well at all. So we'll just use some font. Tomorrow is the first, so I'll do a one, lowercase st. I'm gonna turn my image tool off, grab this, resize, grab this, and resize. I did them separate so that I can make the st smaller than the number one. Okay, cute. What else have we got here? Should we do some more torn papers? Maybe for my wins and gratitudes. Is that too pink? Maybe this one. Oops, I forgot to put my image tool back on. I'm going to line these up to the edge of my page and that way I know that they're both in line with each other and then I can paste them together here to this side of my page and I think I'm going to use, hmm, maybe not, let's use this bright green. I'm going to just flip this one so it's not identical identical because two pieces of tape wouldn't crumple in exactly the same way so it's just different enough that it'll add a bit of realism so that can be my wins and my gratitude I'll resize those together. Oop, too much. There we go. And turn my toggle back on. Okay, so what's left? I need my daily checklist. We haven't used this blue. So my daily checklist is a thing I made in Procreate and I just change it each day to match. So let's paste and rotate and stretch. So I just want this blue color and the torn paper adds like a little bit of texture as well. You can see kind of the crumples. So I'm going to delete that one and make this one a clipping mask and that works. I think we do cocoa. So this checklist I made myself. Let's go with that guy. Let's trip. Um, I made this checklist myself in Procreate. It's a very simplified one of a more detailed, a simplified version of a more detailed one I used to use and there are videos on how I made that detailed one. 
as well as the template shared on my coffee page so you can check that out the links are in the description to the video so i still need to fit a to-do list on here i don't want this to take up all the room maybe we'll just kind of put it to the side like that that'll work And we need a click pen. Oop, undo. Go back. I'm going to do two. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. This is the basics for my daily spread. I'm just missing my to-do list. Um, and so I'm going to stop here and we're going to switch over to the sneak peek section of my video and we'll finish this spread off using some sneak peeks. So everything up till now that we've used has was released last Friday. So there are new releases in the Pink Punch Studio shop. Um, the new Kiss Square Kiss Planner, dust pads, torn papers, click pens, the Daisy Wire Words, and the headphones. Awesome week for releases. So now we're gonna go over to my sneak peeks and have two more things in the new color palette. So first we have some desk lamps. Joy, this is for you. Um, you asked in the group for a video showing how to use the lamps. The lamps are gonna be one of the last things you do on your spread. They have a very big shadow. I'm gonna grab these two. And we'll go to our page here and I'm going to paste them down. So this one is the turned off version. You can see it just shows a shadow. But the outline outside of the lamp is quite large. So that's why I like to do it last so that when I'm moving things around I'm not accidentally less like if I go to last do this then I'm going to grab the lamp as well and I don't mean to. Even more so with this one. See how big the outline is? That's because this one has a shadow from the lamp as well as like a yellow here you can see it on the dark really well there's like a a glow and even if you can't see it it still affects the page and it really makes it look like the lamp is on and kind of illuminating your spread but now say I wanted to edit something and I go and select it it's gonna grab that lamp as well so I like to do lamps last, or at the very least I can put it, grab it and put it on my page and I'll just stick it to the side and then when I'm done I can stretch it out. So let's look at these lamps. Gorgeous. This color palette makes everything so pretty. So this one is off and these three are off. If you actually download the PNG file, the file name has on and off in each individual sticker. When you're looking at the good notes, it's not quite as obvious. You can see how this one sort of has a yellow glow. If I zoom in, no yellow glow, yellow glow. Yellow. You see these ones all have that kind of yellow glow. These ones don't. So you have your off and your on, off and on. And you can use them for whatever you like. This one is kind of fun. Come on. There it is. Because it's totally see-through. So you can see the stuff on your desktop through it. So you could put some paper clips there, you know, or something, and then put your lamp on top, and it would it just sort of adds to the decoration on your spread. The, they're all a little bit transparent, these two most 
the most and then these ones a little bit less so so you can see you can still see through that because they all have like a glass lampshade so they're definitely one of the last things you're going to put on your spread you don't want to be messing around trying to move things after you put the lamps on because it's really going to get in your way but they make an amazing effect when you do use them at the end so this is another this is a brand new kit that's coming out and it's so pretty so these are pressed flowers in the garden bloom colorway and i'm thinking we take these are like a torn vellum so they're see-through so they're kind of like if the vellum papers and the torn papers had a baby this is what you'd end up with and they're very cool um so i'm using like all the greens and blues and grays let's see if we grab this one is going to be my to-do list. I'm going to paste this just like that. And so you get two washies or two tapes, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a bit of a head cold. Possibly it's allergies. I've never had allergies, so I'm really not too sure. But they could start any time, right? That's what people tell me. All right. We'll take this one. And I'll just make bullets with it. So just like we did with those little notepads, I'm going to line these up on the side. I'm going to use the box that shows up when they're selected. But these ones don't have a straight line and I'm trying to make them the same distance apart from each other as well. That's good. And then we'll grab them all and say resize. And we'll just stick them on this paper. And it is my to-do list. And I'm just going to cut and paste this back down so that the overlapping is the way it's meant to be. I love this colorway. I love this new kit. Ugh. I just can't get enough of it. So I'm going to put this lamp on this side, make it nice and big. Now I'm purposely doing this side. I want that pink to be hidden because I haven't really used a lot of the pink in this spread. So I think it's a little bit out of place to leave it there. There we go. It's a pretty simple spread. There's a lot of space that I can still decorate. But I don't want to get too involved in this right now because I have an idea. I was playing with it earlier and I thought we could do together. So this new pressed flowers kit is pretty amazing. Um, just going to open up really quickly here some other kits. Okay, so Garden Blooms pressed flowers. Just a sec. My paper towel here. I need to blow my nose. <laughs> oh, 
pickles or horrible allergies, whatever's wrong with me, can go right away. Um, okay, so I was thinking with these press bars, if you look, they're semi-transparent. The leaves are transparent. Oops. The flowers, they kind of have the transparent. And when you press plants, they do that. They go kind of see-through. So you can use these in a couple different ways. They could be like a pressed flower that's actually part of your paper, like if you made homemade paper. Um, or you can just make like a little bouquet of dried flowers. Let's do this one. That can go on your spread. You know, like just sitting kind of on your desktop. So, this isn't the best color to choose. You can see how it's transparent. If you take them and make sure not to adjust the size, which I think I did mess up my size here a little. I'm gonna copy. And you overlap them and line them up as close to as perfectly as you can. They lose that transparency so you can no longer see the stem through and it kind of brings out the details I think just a little bit and then this would be more like something you might make a little posy on your desktop with And then I feel like we need a couple leaves as well. And you can do the same thing with the leaves. So I can paste it down and you can see the branch through it. You can see the paper. And if I paste another one and line it on top, exactly perfect. Now, it, oh, undo. What is happening? Ugh. Okay. Both? There we go. Was that too? Yeah, so see, transparent. Still transparent, but nowhere near as much. And the, the details on this leaf are even more vibrant. So I'm just gonna cut and paste this back down. one time, not twice, and then I can fit this leaf underneath. I think we need another leaf. Let's do this one. There we go. So you can see I built like a little bouquet of flowers here. Now, the other way I was thinking of using it is to make like pressed paper. If I've, I, I made homemade paper, it was ages ago, but just for fun, I thought I'd give it a try. You like take the pulp and you can put flowers and stuff in it. And it looks like the flowers are part of the, well, they are, they are part of the paper. It doesn't just look like it. So I was thinking it'd be fun to do that um, with this kit. 
and leaving them kind of transparent. This kit here was the freebie kit in the group, in the Pink Punch Studio group for 20,000 followers, sales, 20,000 sales. It's the milestone kit, 20,000 milestone kit. So you can find this in the Pink Punch Studio Facebook group. There's actually tons of freebies there and there's several kits that are similar to this style. Strongly recommend going and looking. I thought that it would look really good for this kind of homemade paper effect because it has the texture in it. Um, so let's grab some flowers. We'll do the purple one and the beige one. Since we're on the purple background, maybe one more, the blue one. Okay. I'm going to copy and paste these a whole bunch. Okay. Like I said, I've, I've done this once. I played with it earlier. But just kind of put them randomly. Like if you were making paper and you have them all mixed up in your pulp, how they might appear. Now some of them aren't going to be exactly... Um, you're going to cut your page to make it fit, so we can do like a couple partial ones here. As if the paper was cut. And just tuck them in the edges. You get the idea. Now it looks like my paper is homemade, handmade paper with pressed flowers. How much fun is that? Now, I was thinking I could take it one step further. Okay, this is pretty and you could build a really nice spread on top of this. But I was thinking you take it one step farther. And a few weeks ago, a month ago, the Portrait Covers Overlay Kit was released. So you got these covers, some basic paper, and then you got these overlays to change the texture. So there's crocodile, mermaid, denim, and leather. So I was thinking between the denim and the leather, I can't tell which one I like best. I've tried both. But I'm going to paste that down. Now I'm going to go edit and crop. The corners are rounded and they have a bit of shadow on them to make them match the cover. So I'm just going to crop the edges to start with. And then I'm going to stretch it I want it to fit. Like one side is Anyway, if it fits top to bottom, it's going to not fit side to side because it's not designed for this. So I want to make it cover the whole page and then I'm going to crop just a little bit until I have it so that it fits side to side. I think that's perfect. Because of the way the shadows are, there's a bit of forgiveness with this. But now you can see it has like a, a textured look like maybe if it really were handmade paper. And then you could build your, your planner spread on top. Um, no, not that. That's not what I want. I mean, sure, we're kind of covering up all the work we just made, but it has that effect of like a, a handmade paper behind it which is so pretty. Anyway, it was one of the things I first thought of when I was looking at the spread, how much fun would it be to do stuff like that? So I made a couple, I was practicing before the video and I made a couple other versions. So this one is white paper, a black cover and the leather overlay. And then this one I really like. So this one is on that same planner we just used from the 20,000 milestone kit. Um, with some different colors and 
I'll, this one's that denim look paper as well that we used. So this kit is extremely versatile. Who do I want here? This one. So many things you can do with these pressed flowers. You can leave them kind of transparent. You can layer them up so that they're a little bit more opaque. Um, whatever, whatever you'd like to do to make your spread pretty. I can't wait to see what everyone does with them. You can take the baskets, fill up a basket, uh, fill up a cup, make a vase, um, use them for bullets like I did, make your own homemade paper look. So many ideas. I am loving this kit. Thank you, Rochelle, for making it. <laughs> I can't wait to play more. Um, but I will wrap up today's video. So tomorrow there will be the new releases out, the lamps and the pressed flowers are just two of the releases there'll be several more so keep your eyes peeled and i will be back on sunday to do a plan with me for you then on tuesday to do a custom scene plan with me and then thursday for pink punch studio again that's the new schedule check out the description i will link pink punch studio my discount code their Facebook page and Etsy shop all in the description of the video so check that out my other links are there as well like the video subscribe to the channel so you get notifications when I put up new videos and I think that's it so have a great day everyone have fun with these kids I can't wait to see what you make bye